Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we're diving right into the life of royalty. We're pushing back the curtain of lace and jewels to look at the true life of a saint's great niece who became a queen of Portugal by the age of 12. Queen Elizabeth has a great ring for someone not even a teenager, but her life was nothing to be jealous of in the slightest. Elizabeth was taught piety from a young age, with daily prayer and catechesis sewn into her routine. Her relationship with God was the only thing that would help her suffer through a new life as queen of Portugal. She was married to King Dinas for political reasons and political reasons alone. She was forced to suffer constant abuse and adultery from the king throughout the beginning of their entire marriage. But Elizabeth only offered up her suffering and never stopped praying for her husband's conversion and healing. Instead of wallowing in pity and despair, the queen set about serving the poor and sick of Portugal. She would invite the other ladies of the court to help in the work and was rarely taken up on the offer. More times than not, she would be met with the crude comments and jealousy of other ladies of the court. But not even this stopped her from serving. After years of constant prayer and offering up her husband to the Lord, King Dinas finally turned his life around and found Christ. No one knows for sure except for the king himself who caused this metanoia, but change he did and for the better. Elizabeth's only son, Prince Alfonso, still couldn't forgive his father and grew resentful of the favoritism shown to the king's illegitimate sons. This anger and resentment eventually led to civil war between king and prince. Overwhelmed with love for both sides, Elizabeth stood her ground in the middle of the battlefield and miraculously brought about peace before any bloodshed was spilled. After the peaceful passing of King Dinas years later, Queen Elizabeth gave all of her wealth to the poor and became a Franciscan tertiary. All seemed finally at peace for the Queen of Portugal, but history has a way of repeating itself. The now King Alfonso quickly learned about the abusive relationship his own daughter was in with his son-in-law and fled to avenge her. It was a triggering moment for the king who did not want what happened to his mother to also happen to his own child. Once again, a civil war was declared. Despite her poor health, Elizabeth once again ran to the battlefield and made amends with both sides. She did not back down until the two men were able to seek mercy and healing among each other and to move past the hurt. This is exactly why she came to be known as the patron saint of peacemakers. It was her gift of a gentle heart that stopped so many wars. Seeing peace restored once again to her family and country, Elizabeth passed away from fever in 1336. This saint suffered greatly at the hands of others, but instead of lashing out at her enemies with a sword, she fought back with prayers of conversion and metanoia. My challenge for you today is to think of someone who has hurt you recently, and I encourage you to take their names to prayer that Christ may enter into their hearts and stir a moment of reconciliation. You just might be the person that God uses to change that person's life for the better. St. Elizabeth of Portugal, pray for us.